Now, uh, of course, you're all aware of a situation that I should address here at the top of the show. If you've been watching uh, for the last couple of months, you know that our band leader, Max Weinberg, has uh, taken a leave of absence to tour with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. He's gone off to do that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, by the way, filling in for him, the very sexy and talented Mr. James Wormworth right over there, who's, look at him. Max, thank you. Oh, yeah, look how, man. You got a, you're just a very cocky guy, you know that? You just are, you know? You're a guy that knows that you've got what it takes. I know what I want. Yeah, you know what you want, you know how to get it. That's you're right. fired! Uh, <laughs> no, no, stay, stay. Uh, no one listens to me here anyway. I couldn't fire you if I wanted to. Anyway, uh, for the past couple of weeks, the East Street uh, Band, as many of you know, has been in New York to do some dates here around in the area. And uh, so anyway, here's what happened. I thought it'd be really fun if our announcer, Joel Goddard, and I went and visited Max. Do you know what I mean? It just seems so cool. Like, let's visit Max. He's, he's on the road. He's touring. What a cool thing. So this is what we did. We surprised Max at his hotel last night. And folks, we had a pretty wild time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, well, anyway, we, um, we took a bunch of photos while we were there last night. This morning, first thing I did is I went to that one-hour photo place, and guess what? Uh, just before the show, I got the photos back. And uh, I thought it might be kind of fun if we looked at them together tonight at the top of the show in a little piece I'm going to call Visiting Max on Tour Photos. Yeah? <laughs> It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It was some pretty crazy stuff. To begin, uh, everybody knows that uh, when, uh, when Bruce is in town, he puts the whole uh, band up at the Park Plaza Hotel right here. That's where they stay. And uh, he puts Max up at a place on Long Island called the Captain's Bounty. <laughs> um, we don't quite know what the deal is there. I wasn't aware, so anyway, uh, Joel and I went there, we found Max's room, and we knocked on the door to kind of <laughs> surprise him. As you can tell, we're very excited there. Uh, Max opened the door a crack, and he said, hurry up, get in here. I ran out of a TGI Fridays without paying the bill. I think they're after me. <laughs> so anyway, Max let us into his swanky rock and roll motel room. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, uh, I said, hey, Max, did you invite Bruce over? Max said, I sure did. Then Max just stared uncomfortably. <laughs> Joel then said, Bruce doesn't like you, does he? Max said, no way, Bruce loves me. Then Max got on the phone and called Bruce. He said, hey, Bruce, it's me, Max. Yeah, that's right, Max Weinberg. <laughs> then Max said, oh, really, that's nice, Bruce. I think you're my best friend, too. <laughs> Joel then pointed out to Max that the phone wasn't plugged in. <laughs> Max then said, it doesn't need to be plugged in. It's a cell phone. <laughs> For some reason, this really depressed me. But Joel just laughed in Max's face. And Max started crying. Then he choked Joel with the phone cord. So, wow. I broke, oh. Anyway, I broke it up. I asked Max to show us around a real rock and roll motel room. He showed us it had cable TV, had a coffee maker, and he kept his number one groupie hidden in the closet. <laughs> I, uh, I politely pointed out that the groupie spelled Max's name wrong. And when she heard that, she started foaming at the mouth. <laughs> then she lunged for me. Luckily, Max had her on a chain. That's my Christmas card this year. 
Max uh, then showed me he had a full-size ice machine in his room. I asked why. And Max said it was either that or a bathroom. And Joel said, for once, Max, you did something right. Okay, I'm sorry, that's the Christmas card. Uh, <clears throat> Max then showed me that there was a peephole behind a picture. I said, don't you feel violated? I mean, don't peepholes creep you out? He said, not when I drill them myself. <laughs> then I said, well, gee, Max, I guess you must really miss your family. Max said, no, we're in contact every day. Look, I just got some flowers from them. <laughs> Max then showed me he was a real class act by ordering up some room service of champagne and caviar. But the best they could do was a gallon jug of grain alcohol and a family-sized bag of Funyuns. <laughs> so I turned around and said, you want some, Joel? But Joel had frozen to death. <laughs> this, uh, this really depressed me, so I started drinking the grain alcohol. <laughs> Max suggested we should watch pay-per-view porn. <laughs> so we gave that a shot. Unfortunately, all the porn featured Max. <laughs> I uh, thought I was going to get sick. And then I said, I don't have to watch this crap. So I drank more grain alcohol till I finished the bottle. Then I lit a match and spit out all the grain alcohol at the TV. Just then, there was a knock at the door, which startled me because of all the grain alcohol. It was Nick Nolte, fresh out of jail. <coughs> and I guess in jail, your head gets out of proportion to your body. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> he... He yelled at Max and said, quit drilling peepholes in my room. <laughs> then he punched Max's head off. <laughs> and kicked me in the groin. <laughs> then he took off with Max's groupie. And folks, it was an amazing night. I gotta tell you, we had a good time. <clears throat> those, were, those were great photos. I'll treasure them always. All right, we have a... Uh, we got a great show tonight. We come back, Martin Sheen. Okay.